welcome back to all of you on the part 2 lecture on control of electric drive so we will continue the lecture but we will recall you that in the first lecture we have seen a one common line that if the open loop control fails to provide the desired speed regulation of the electric drive system it can be operated in a closed loop control system and also feedback loop is necessary to become in unavoidable due to the for, uh, requirements such as production protection immediate speed response or improvement in steady state accuracy which are shown here so there are few schemes that we are going to cover in this lectures of the closed loop control drives the first very first very scheme that is the closed loop control drive scheme is current limit control this current limit control scheme actually limits the converter and motor current below a safe limit during transient operation that is basically during starting braking acceleration deacceleration so here is basically a current feedback loop with the three shoulder logic circuit as long as the current is within a set maximum value feedback loop doesn't affect the operation of the drive but during transient operation when there is certain increase of current beyond a set value it will feedback will force the current to set to the set value and become inactive so this operation will repeat in every transient operation so we will see that the current fluctuate around a set value when the operation cl close to the steady state point has reached then you will notice that current will not have a tendency to cross the maximum value consequently feedback loop will no effect on the drive system so this is the first scheme and we are also studied in the first lecture that the through the current control you are, you can control the torque of the motor now the next scheme is basically closed loop torque control this closed loop torque control is mainly used in battery operated vehicles rail cars and electric trains so when driver of train press the accelerated accelerator to some set torque reference that is shown tau star So driver gives you a some specified reference torque according to the requirement and the feedback that is actual torque then follow that reference torque given by that accelerator speed feedback loop is present through the driver by giving appropriate pressure on the accelerator actually driver is adjusting the speed depending on the traffic road condition and car condition it is 
so that was the second scheme now the third scheme is on closed loop speed control which is basically consisting of two feedback loops this is widely used closed loop speed control method in electric drive it basically consisting of inner current loop and outer speed loop current loop control the converter and motor current to the safe limit and hence the torque inner current loop also reduce the effect on performance of any nonlinearity present in converter motor system an increase in speed reference omega m star that is your reference speed produces a positive error delta omega m speed error speed error is processed through a speed controller and applied to the current limiter which saturate even a force which saturate even a for a small speed corresponding to the maximum allowable current driver accelerate the at the maximum allowable current when close to the desired speed the limiter desaturate steady state is reached at the desired speed and at a current for which the motor torque is equal to the load torque it decrease in the speed reference that is omega m star produce a negative speed torque current limiter again saturates and sets current reference for inner current loop at a value corresponding to the maximum allowable current consequently driver re drive x d accelerate in braking mode at a maximum allowable current when close to the required speed current limiter desaturates the operation is transferred from braking to the motoring drive then settle at a desired speed and at a current for which the motor torque equal to the load torque so this is the basic principle and this current speed current speed controller is basically inside they are consisting of proportional integral proportional derivative or proportional integral integral and derivative controller depending upon the steady state accuracy and transient response requirements so we are going to use this ppi pid controller for these closed loop schemes now the next scheme this is phase locked loop scheme phase locked loop scheme here we are using pic that for the closed loop speed or closed loop torque control we are basically using the controller such as pi ideally they should pi controller ideally they should provide speed regulation perfect speed regulation however due to imperfection in sensing and control unit the closed loop scheme described can achieve a speed regulation of about 0.2% while you are this phase locked loop scheme can achieve a speed regulation as low as 0.002% which can be useful in conveyors for material handling paper and textile mills and computer peripherals so this is better technique in terms of the speed regulation that is achievable so also pll are available as inexpensive integrated circuits
two pulse strains the refers reference per train of frequency f star and the feedback per strain of frequency f are compared in a phase detector so pfd is basically your phase detector output of this phase detector produces a pulse modulated output that is vc shown the pulse width of vc depend upon the phase difference between the two pulse strains and the polarity depending upon the sign of phase difference that is whether it is lagging or leading now the output of the phase detector is filtered by the loop filter to obtain a dc signal and applied as a control voltage to the voltage controlled oscillator vco with which output is frequency and which is fed back again to the signal f because of the closed loop vc output frequency change in a direction that reduces the phase difference when steady state reached f become exactly equal to f star and the loop is said to have locked so that's why it's called phase locked control voltage required by vco to produce f equal to f star come from the phase difference between the two input signal if now f star is altered f will follow the change and control voltage required by the vco will be obtained by the adjustment of the phase difference between this two input signal that is f and f star an electric dry employing pll control is shown in the next figure that is below the basic figure of the phase lock loop the voltage control oscillator is replaced by converter motor and speed encoder output of the loop filter form the control signal for the converter output of the loop filter form the control si signal for the converter it alter the converter operation so that the motor speed adjust to make the frequency of speed encoder output signal f equal to the frequency of reference signal that is f star so by basically changing the f star the motor speed can be changed excellent speed regulation is the main feature of the drive however it has two important disadvantages transient response is slow and it has low speed limit below which it become unstable so the next scheme that is closed loop position control it has a different application as compared to the earlier other discuss diagram is showing basically closed loop speed control uh, speed control system it is closed loop speed control system is within that the whole system which has a inner current do inside an outermost position loop current and speed do restrict the current at speed within a safe limit so enhance the speed response reduce the effect of non linearity in the converter motor and load such as non linear transfer characteristics of converter column friction variation of parameter due to the temperature and friction on the transient and steady state performance of position control system so they are basically required in a number of drive application such as feed drive in machine tools screw down mechanism in rolling mills so this is all for the control for the electric drive hope you have enjoyed the lecture and ciao